So two weeks ago, I showed you how to make a porch swing. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a bed swing. Stick around. So I started the build off by making a footer. Now, I didn't want just a plain rectangle as a footer, so I sketched out a design on a scrap piece of board that is half the length of my footer, and this gave me a template to use that will create a perfectly symmetrical design. Next, I started making the bottom supports. There will be five total, and I first cut them to length, then ripped them down, and then put in some pocket holes. I put in two pocket holes on one end of each board, then also put in five pockets on each side. To attach them, I lined up the side supports flush with the top of the footer and then screwed them down. However, before attaching the other three, I clamped a board into place so that I could mount these flush up against it and then screw them down. To start assembling the deck, I cut five one by sixes to length and then put in pocket holes on each end. Then it was just a matter of setting the one by sixes into place and screwing them down. First attaching them on the side and then on those center supports. After one board was complete, I would repeat the steps on the next board. Then it was on to making the back supports. Now I knew that later, the two back side supports would be getting a carriage bolt and a chain through it, and I wanted to beef them up. So I cut seven supports total and then glued together two boards twice so that I would have two supports that are beefed up and three that are normal. I stuck these two beefed up supports in my vise with a few clamps just to let them dry. And while those were drying, I went ahead and started to make the back assembly, cutting two rails, the top and the bottom, and then a whole bunch of styles. I did this by setting up a stop block on my miter. Of course, I had to lay them out in order to get a visual, but then I went over everything with a roundover bit on one side. While I was at it, I also used a roundover bit to go over the front of the footer. It was at this point where I really started hating the side, so I decided to add a second board with a little bit of a decorative design. I did the same bit where I hand drew something, half of it, cut out a template, and then used that to make a symmetrical design. Thinking that that looked much better, I went ahead and put in a few pocket holes and attached it on the back side. However, then I started hating how this front flowed into the side, so I decided to change the head as well. Now I do have templates of all of these pieces, so if you decide to make one, you won't have to do all of this backtracking. Before putting everything together, I decided to go ahead and give everything a quick coat of paint, the deck as well as all of the back pieces and the back supports. Once three coats were dry, I started assembling the back, first figuring out the angle that I thought would look nice, then using a drill press to drill a quarter inch hole. Then I clamped this into place and used this hole as a guide to drill a hole in the bottom support. Put in a carriage bolt, flat washer, and a nylon net. I used an angle finder to repeat the steps on the other side, and now I have the beginning of a back. I started assembling the rails and styles that I made earlier, first by taking each style and drilling in a pocket hole on each side, then of course just using those to attach it to the rails. To give myself a way to attach the back assembly, I took off the supports and put in three pocket holes. I actually spaced out these slots so that from the front of the swing, you can't see these back supports. Okay, last part of the body, figuring out the arm design. So I sketched out something simple, cut it out on the bandsaw, and then also used a jigsaw to cut out a cup holder. I cut more slats, gave everything a quick coat of paint, and then started putting everything together. I used a pocket hole on the underside of the arm to attach it to the back, and then used the pocket holes to drill down the slats. I ran into a space issue when I went to drill in the top pockets. Fortunately enough for me, a UK viewer recently sent me a right angle attachment. That thing is very handy. Once everything was fastened down, I decided to add in something else a little bit more decorative, plus give the arm a little bit more support. So I went ahead and cut out this piece. I'm not even sure what to call it, but it'll hide the chain and give the arm a little bit more support. I marked off the location of the pocket holes so that they wouldn't interfere with any of the other screws took a roundover bit to it, a quick coat of paint, and then stuck it onto the assembly. Now that the swing was done, it was just a matter of attaching hardware to hang it. For the front, I used a heavy duty eye bolt with a fender washer and a nylon nut on each side. 
Then on the back, I simply moved out the carriage bolt and attached the chain. I grabbed a paddle bit that is the same dimension as my chain and then just fed it all through and used S-hooks to combine it all. So this is actually a gift for my mother. She wanted a relaxing place to enjoy a book, so now she has a bed swing. Now if you'd like to build one, I do have a written tutorial as well as the templates on my website, which is wilkerdews.com. There's a link in the description, so feel free to check it out. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you soon. Is it comfortable? I really don't want to give it up now. I wonder how much my mom would hate me if I didn't take it to her. <laughs> She'd probably hate you a lot, actually. I would hate me if I didn't give it up. <laughs> like, if I were her and I didn't give it to her, I would hate me. But if you were you? But if I were me and I didn't give it to her, I'd love me. <laughs>